As I've already mentioned in previous videos, I want to get rid of the side marker lights. I don't really like them and uh, without them it looks much better. Just the American models had them in the front and rear anyways. The Australian models didn't have none of them and I really like the clean look. That means that I need to close this hole and to do that I need to weld in a piece of sheet metal. There are such pre-cut pieces available on the market. Uh, they already have the shape you need and you can just weld them in and that's it. But I don't really like that solution. Because the fender is curved in both directions, that means that also the delete plate needs to be curved in both directions. And to bend this piece, which is so small, it will be pretty tricky or almost impossible, especially with these small tabs. I came up with another solution. I really want to get rid of these tabs and make this shape uh, easier to form. Therefore, I will just grind uh, this shape in, just make this half round on both sides and this is a pretty easy shape for me to to make the patch and uh, yeah it will be perfectly for welding so I have no sharp edges and will be much better and much easier. But before I'm going to start working on this uh, and change the shape and lose all the information of this opening here I made a little template from paper with all the information, uh, measurements of the opening as well as the position and uh, can just place this piece of paper, align it here with the fender, line this edge up with the fender line and then I have the exact position of the opening just to keep this information if uh, anybody wants to recreate this opening in the future and uh, yeah just just to have it as a reference. Now let's uh, get started and uh, get this patch welded in. I'm also quickly grinding this edge clean to remove the paint here on the edge. Uh, this is definitely needs to go for the welding. Next I'm going to sand off the paint around the opening for the welding. But before I do that I'm going to protect the headlight pocket with a tape. So I definitely won't sand this part. So the car is now ready, everything is prepared for welding, everything is clean, the shape looks nice and now it's time to make the patch that goes into here. I've already prepared this piece of uh, sheet metal. Uh, as you can see it is now quite bigger than the actual hole. This is uh, the reason that makes it easier for me to shape it and uh, that's what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shape it first. Uh, until the shape matches the fender and then I'm going to cut out its shape. So I'm getting pretty close with the shape uh, but I'm having now problems that the edges touch the fender first and I can't really um, make it any closer. Therefore I'm going to mark the outline um, so I'm able to, to cut it closer. So 
So just after cutting, the piece actually fits now perfect without any more hammering. It was just uh, staying on the edges and uh, therefore give me a wrong feedback. But now it sits flush on all the edges and now I can scribe the outer contour and cut it to shape so it fits in this hole. So the piece is now ready for welding, cut to shape and size and it fits now into the hole and uh, as you can see it has a little gap there and that's because I'm welding this with a MIG welder with a 0.6 millimeter wire therefore I try to keep the gap around it around uh, 0.6 millimeter. So the piece is now welded in on four spots. Uh, the first one went very well. Unfortunately, the second one burned a hole in it. So I went down a little bit with the setting. That was the third one. And uh, yet it still burned through on the fourth one. Um, although I made a test piece beforehand, welded that completely through and it also was well penetrated in the back. Um, I think the mistake I made was that I held the welder in this direction. Um, I think I should have held it more in this direction. So yeah, uh, now I'll keep on welding the patch in, uh, do further patches in between the existing ones and uh, always in the meantime try to, to fill up these holes a little bit. I don't want to make them all at once so just a little bit little by little and uh, definitely welding onto the to the existing weld to to build that up and close the hole So the patch is now completely welded in. Now I'm going to grind off the weld to a consistent height, but not flush with the sheet just yet. I will definitely keep like a millimeter at least. Um, the plan is right now, because of the welding, the material has shrunk. And um, now I want to stretch this back to lose a little bit of the warping. And um, I will just use the hammer and dolly and hammer all along uh, the beat, but to do that, uh, to get a good result, I need a consistent height of the whole weld. Looking on the patch from straight above, you can see that the panel now warped uh, like this, while before it had a, a shape like this and uh, this is just because of the welding welding causes heat and heat causes warping um, yeah i'm not the best welder and uh, this is the first patch i did so um, uh, yeah maybe i have a little bit more warping than a, a really good pro uh, bodywork guy would have uh, but yeah nonetheless this uh, warping needs to go and um, I will do this with the hammer and dolly and try to reshape the panel uh, the most warping I got in this orientation and uh, you can see that when I hold the metal ruler against it so there's at least like two to three millimeter gap in between there where this kind of like sunk in 
and uh, this, ne this needs now to come back out again. I also grinded the welds flush on the back side and uh, now it looks all clean and then uh, now I can start removing uh, or reshaping the panel. So I've already hammered out quite a bit. But now I'm running into an issue because this fender was once repainted as you can see right here and they applied quite a bunch of high build primer and uh, when you feel over this edge of the paint it kind of like irritates when you want to feel the shape of the body. So I'm going to quickly sand away a big surface with the orbital sander so I can then better feel where I am. So after a bunch of hammering I got it to this stage and uh, I can definitely still feel that this section right here is still too low and the shape is not quite right just yet. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I will apply a guide coat, uh, just some black matte spray paint and then I will sand over it and then I can see the low spots and the high spots. The low spots are everywhere where the black mat is still intact and on the low spots uh, the sanding the sandpaper will actually remove the material and then I, I can visually see where I need to hammer and where I need to bring the material out. For sanding the guide coat I'm using this flexible file. I just put a piece of double sided tape at the bottom and put on a piece of 240 grit emery cloth. Now I can already see two high spots here and here and uh, I will start now hammering these down and then go back over it with the sandpaper, hammering sandpaper, hammering sandpaper back and forth until it's perfect. So and this is it, the job completely finished and uh, it's really super smooth right now and the shape is absolutely perfect. Uh, maybe I don't even need filler on this and the high build primer might just be enough. Uh, yeah, we'll see just after the primer how it really looks, but uh, this is looking very, very good. Thanks for watching.